Hi, in this video, I will be talking about intraoperative radiation therapy. What is it? Do we use it? How does it work? Before I go on, let me invite you to subscribe to this channel. We're putting out new content every week. So intraoperative radiation therapy is actually given in the operating room. The surgical bed is open to surgery, the tumor is removed, and then intraoperative radiation involves giving radiation to the surgical bed to a very focused area using electron beams. There are techniques that are used to keep the rest of the tissue from being exposed to the electron therapy so that other tissues aren't damaged. It's given for just one dose and differs from what we might think of as normal or traditional radiation therapy. Normal radiation therapy is given over several days to weeks and it's given as an external beam. So it's not given into the operative bed, it's given to the outside of the body and the radiation penetrates the skin to go to the area where the cancer is and then damage the DNA. All radiation therapy works by delivering energy that damages the cancer's DNA. So traditional or more typical radiation therapy that you've heard about is given as an outpatient. You walk in, you're fully clothed, you change into a gown, you lie on the table, you get radiation therapy, you get dressed and you go home again. And it can be given twice a day for a certain number of treatments, or it can be given once a day uh, for several weeks. It depends on where you're being treated and tumor characteristics that will determine the type of radiation available to you. Intraoperative therapy is given only once. So what are the advantages? Well, it makes sense that giving therapy to the area where the tumor was can decrease the risk of recurrence after the tumor has been removed. So that would be one advantage and also it would be given one time. Traditional radiation therapy given as an outpatient for several weeks um, or a couple to several weeks delivers lower doses over a longer period of time. You may be wondering, why don't we all get intraoperative therapy? Well, the reason is that studies have shown that recurrence is actually higher with intraoperative therapy, in part because the cells are vulnerable to DNA damage when they're dividing, which is why we give it over a longer period of time. If we give it just one time in the operating room, not many of those cells are vulnerable to damage. The other thing is, when we treat the breast, when we're not giving partial breast radiation, we're, get, we're treating the whole breast because the thought is that cells have escaped the primary tumor and spread to normal tissue throughout the breast. So the advantage of whole breast radiation therapy followed often by a boost to the area where the tumor is, is that we're decreasing the risk of recurrence in throughout the whole remaining breast in somebody who's had breast conserving surgery or to the area uh, where the breast was for people having chest wall radiation. So while it sounds like an advantage to give it intraoperatively, and we've had questions about intraoperative radiation therapy, at this point, it's not recommended outside a clinical trial. The goal of radiation is to keep the cancer from coming back or to reduce the risk as much as possible. And intraoperative therapy has not been shown to be as effective as what we call more normal or typical radiation therapy. I hope this has been helpful in answering a question many of you have had. Drop a comment or question below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if this has been helpful, click like. That will help other people looking for information about this topic find the information. And thanks as always for watching.